Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pretty simple but pretty good looking um, hoodie for Scare Excel. Now you, what you're going to need is Substance Plate now, which is a like, it's a 3D modeling thing. It's a paid app, but it's pretty useful. I would recommend buying it if you're getting into texturing for Scare Excel. And you're also going to need the 3D model from the Discord server. I'll leave a link to the Discord in the description. Now, to get started, uh, all you need to do, go on Google and search up seamless repeating pattern and just find some pattern on here. It has to properly repeat um, that you like. I found this one. I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, so I've, I've already downloaded this. Uh, and then you go into Substance and you can press Control N on your keyboard to open up this thing. Then hit Select and find it should be called mhoodie.obj if you have file extensions on click that click open and then click ok and you'll get this model pop up and if you are you want to move around just press alt and then um right click and you'll be able to move around to see what it looks like what we're going to do to start off with is importing the thing. So the picture you had, right click it, press save. And then once you've got it saved, you click this little arrow thing here. Uh, and then click add resources. Find the picture you downloaded. Uh, wherever I put it. finally found the pattern hit open and then click this thing change the texture and then click uh, either you can click current session which will make it so it um, is only there whilst you're working on this thing or you can do it to shelf which means it will permanently there the only way you can get rid of it is going to the actual files of the actual app and get rid of it so I'm gonna do current session because I don't want to keep this around once I'm done with it hit import and then you'll get this texture here. Next thing we want to do is we're going to want to put it on the actual model. So your first layer here, right click it and then scroll down to add fill layer. Add a fill layer real quick. And then drag your texture that you downloaded into the base color. Now it might be a little bit big and this is why we got a repeating texture. Because what you can do is, if you hold shift and scale it down, it will repeat perfectly, but it, you can make it look a lot better just by scaling it down. And then just put it to wherever you want. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do is mask off these edges here and here to make it look a little bit more like an actual hoodie. So uh, click this little button at the top, create a new layer right click that and then add a black mask to this click that right click the black mask and then add another fill layer now we're going to be using a um 3d fill layer if you can call it that uh, and to do that you just once you've got the fill layer selected change it to i think white and then change this UV projection to try planning that one and then change the shape crop thing to projection crop to shape and then you want to scroll out a little bit and just drag this down so it's just above the line best way to check if it's just above the line go back to your normal layer you click on this right click add another fill layer and just change the color of it to a, a random color that contrasts with this. So I'm going to go black. Uh, and then I can go back to back onto your mask. Click back onto your fill layer. Drag that down maybe a little bit. Is that looking good? That looks good for me. And then after this, now you've got uh, that. You can go back to your fill layer. Back on the fill layer. Change the color. And you can also do this is optional but it makes it look a lot nicer so see how it's quite a flat texture at the minute if you go to procedurals in here and then type in 
uh, stripes, you'll get this thing. Now you want to drag the stripes, like texture, into the height. Um, and then what you want to do is scale that down. Like so. And then rotate it so it's facing upwards like that. Now it looks shiny in here, but when you're actually in the game, it won't look shiny because of how they do it in the game. Just make it to where it looks decent. And then we're going to repeat the procedure. Um, because these lines are going down for the arms, we need them to go sideways. So we have to do a new layer. So what you're going to do is this time add a new layer. Right click, add a... Uh, another black mask and then what you're gonna want to do is right click that add a fill it's quite a similar thing UV projection triplanar and then shape crop to shape uh, you're gonna want to click on this little thing called 3d projection settings here and we're gonna want to scale this click the little lock button if this isn't already on scale it down so it, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit, um, temperamental. Uh, we want this, actually I got it the wrong way around, but it's fine. Uh, so change this one to black and then right click on your black layer and press, um, invert mask background. And we just fixed the problem. Um, and to check if it's working again, right click this, add a fill layer. And you should see it's starting to like go on the ends of the hoodie. It's doing the same thing on both sides. I probably want mine a little bit smaller than that because I want it like here. So I'm going to go back to my mask, back onto the fill thing. Scale it down a little bit less. So you hold shift, you can do a little bit more precise. Like that. That looks good to me. What does the other side look like? Looking good. Right, and then we're going to go back to our fill layer again. This main fill layer. Click the fill. Change it to whatever color this was. Black for me. And then you want to drag the stripes into the height again. Uh, and scale it down again. Just so it doesn't look massive. Hold shift when you're scaling, by the way, to keep it all the same. Uh, and then we're going to want to rotate it so they're all facing the right way. Like that. And we're done now. We're done done texturing. Uh, we just need to export it. So, what you're going to do is press Control, Shift, and then E on the keyboard. And then click this and select where you want it to export. So, I'm going to want mine to export to my export folder. Select folder. And then in here... You want to find the one that's called Unity Standard Metallic. Uh, this should be Dilation Infinite if it's not already. And then just hit Export in the bottom. Wait for it to do its thing. And then hit Open Folder. We're, we're done with this program now. You can close it if you like to. Uh, all we're interested in now is uh, these two textures you can get rid of this one this one doesn't really matter and all you're going to want to do is uh, you can press F2 on the keyboard or you can right click and hit rename and it should be renamed to M underscore hoodie and then whatever you want the name of the hoodie to be so mine's going to be M underscore hoodie flower underscore pattern and then you're going to want to do the same thing to the other this, the other file. This is the normal map. Hit uh, F2 or rename. Uh, type in the same thing. I just copied and pasted it. And then put dot normal after the um, original text. Like so. Hit enter. Select both of them copy them and then you're going to want to go to your gear folder if you don't already have this set up 
um, it will be in your documents uh, you then go into skater XL then gear and then you want to if you don't have a thing called uh, by the way you can create these folders if you don't have a file uh, um, a folder called hoodie just create one it's got to be a capital at the start click on that and then just paste in your file and you're done that that's it uh, I'll load up the game now I've just got to close all these because yeah they're quite heavy on GPU so uh, if you want to you can save the project I'm not because I'm probably not going to look at this again but discard and close that and close Google uh, and then we'll load up Scare Excel right now the game's actually loaded up um, yeah mine's pretty laggy but uh, you're gonna want to go to character uh, and you just find them in modded hoodies just make your way over there it's in um custom top and we're gonna want to scroll through and we'll find the one called flower pattern or whatever you named yours and there's your hoodie I'd say they turn out pretty well there's the 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 normal maps make it look quite nice they actually look like quite nice hoodies this is the way I make most of my hoodies for the game and yeah that's it uh, I'll see you guys next time